Okay, so now we get to talk about major and minor keys. Major keys are pretty much any of the normal keys. The fun stuff comes when we start talking about minor keys. Now, like before, when we talked about music being the key of D or the key of C, that refers to the notation. Now, when you're talking about major and minor keys, you're talking more about the quality and the tone of music, but more so, you're talking about the relationship between the notes. Now, like we spoke before about sharps and flats, when a, when a key is in neutral, when a note is in neutral, and you want to make it sharp, you're making it a half step higher. If you want to make it flat, you're making it a half step lower. Now, the relevance between two notes, two neutral notes, that's a whole step. Now, this is important because when you talk about the intervals in a minor scale, it goes something like this. Whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step. Now, I know that may not make much sense, but let's go to a very common minor key, which is A flat. So we're going to take and put the, key, the A pedal up, a B flat, we're going to put that one up, and an E flat. This is a minor key. Now what that means is that between C and D, you have a whole step. But since we made the E flat, you only have a half step. And now from here to here, you have a whole step. And from F to G, you have a whole step. But from here to here, you only have a half step. And from here to here, you have a half step. So basically, like in this piece, you're going to hear something like this. And the effect that it gives off is a sound that's a little sadder, it's a little more melancholy, a little more dreamlike. And that's the minor key. Now this piece has three flats. It has an A flat, so we're going to go ahead and lift that pedal up and make it flat. We have a B flat, so we're going to lift that one up as well. And it has an E flat. And there you go.